Finally, our mitochondrial uncoupling platform. New class of, this is once again, a small molecule for treating metabolic disorders. Uh, we all know about DMP and we all know that mitochondrial uncouplers are known to in, in ex expand, uh, extend lifespan in preclinical species. And, and an old molecule DMP from the 1920s, uh, patients were losing on order of two to three pounds per week, but it proved to be toxic, things like hyperthermia, among other uh, serious adverse events re result in the removal. And there's been a, a long history and a, and a hope that uh, someday we can solve the safety issue with DNP. And what we believe is that we have a new class of mitochondrial couplers that can, en that can enhance metabolism um, and result in a reduction in fatty liver and liver inflammation in NASH, but also uh, re uh, weight loss um, without, by mitigating the risks, the safety risks of DMP. Um, we can be, believe they're self-limited in nature and uh, can address these toxic effects. And once again, how this work, um, uh, the, the mechanism of action, mechanism of action um, there are pumping of, of protons into the intermembrane space. This, this is, takes cal caloric burn for this to happen. The protons pumped into this intermembrane space release energy required for ATP synthase. And, and this happens when they move down their concentration gradient through a channel called ATP, ATP synthase. What our mitochondrial couplers do, they allow protons to leak out of the intermembrane space independent of ATP synthase. And what this does is it forces more caloric burn for an equivalent amount of ATP synthase or energy production. So by that, uh, by that mechanism, uh, we're able to increase the metabolic rate. And the real, the real interest here is that if you look at the obesity space, uh, almost exclusively the mechanisms are all about um, uh, caloric restriction, right? Uh, reduction in intake. And here you have with uh, mitochondrial couplers is the ability to enhance caloric burn. So not only as a monotherapy, potentially as a combination therapy, that's the real interest here uh, for mitochondrial couplers across a, a, a variety of metabolic disorders. Another key finding in our, in our data is that, and this is what you want to do here in, in the uh, red, you see mice with uh, the Western diet. And then when you introduce one of our tool compounds, you see a significant reduction in fat mass and on the right without compromising lean muscle mass. And, th and that, that, that's really important here, whether you're, it's for NASH or obesity. And so we're excited about that we're able to do that, reduce fat mass uh, while maintaining lean muscle mass. So where are we with this program? Um, we have preclinical studies that show both weight loss and reduction of fatty liver and liver inflammation. We're in the process of developing a lead candidate with the desired product profile. In, in this class of agents, it's really all about safety, right? We know that mitochondrial couplers are effective. And then it's really about on overcoming that history and uh, with DNP and developing safe mitochondrial couplers uh, for these metabolic disorders.